Democrats on one hand are preaching and crying so hypocritical when it comes to abortion. But then, to protect women against violence by illegal aliens, you guys oppose that. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get started, I want to take you back into time, back into the 1900s. There is this little island in the Caribbean Sea, it's called the Dominican Republic. During the 1930s all the way to 1961, it was ruled by a dictator who, to the rest of the world, was a democratic president. Under the rule of this dictator, to which his influence and his terror is still felt to this day in the Dominican Republic. He ruled from 1930 to 1961, if I'm not mistaken, and today is 2024 and his regime it is still felt in my beloved Dominican Republic. So what happened? In 1960 this ruthless dictator killed three sisters, three sisters who were known internationally, three sisters who fought and stood for not just women's rights but for everybody's right in the Dominican Republic. They fought tooth and nail to liberate the Dominican population from this ruthless dictator. Those sisters were Minerva Mirabal, Patria Mirabal, Maria Teresa Mirabal. All three sisters were brutally killed by the henchmen from this dictator, Rafael Trujillo, along with the sister was also the driver was also killed. Because of this heinous act, the 25th of November has been designated the International Day for Elimination of Violence Against Women. So that is the backstory. Now is 2024 United States. Representative Mays pushed a bill titled Violence Against Women by Illegal Aliens Act. I don't even know why such bill has to be passed. It should be an automatic that no violence against not just women, against anyone will be tolerated, especially if you are an illegal immigrant, somebody who crossed that border illegally, somebody who came to this country illegally, and you're going to commit heinous act and think you are free of any charges, free to roam around. It is mind-blowing that such that has to be passed. But let's put my emotion, my feeling, my opinion, however I feel or however you feel about this aside. Let's talk about the fact. The Violence Against Women by Illegal Aliens Act passed the House 266 to 158 votes. So what does the bill entitle? It says in a nutshell that any undocumented person in the United States who came here illegally, who is here illegally, and commit any acts of violence against women, sex offense against women, or make threats against women in a sex offense, will be arrested, deported, and all that good stuff. So, the bill passed 266 to 158. Out of the 266, you might be asking, that's not a split house. 51 Democrats voted for the bill. They are in agreement that this bill should pass, this act should pass, that women should not have to fear illegal aliens who come here illegally and are torturing, raping, killing our young women and kids. This should not be happening here. So, 51 Democrats vote for the bill. Now, the other 158 people that oppose the bill, they are all Democrats. So now I ask you, if one of these Democrats represent your city, represent your state, represent your sector, you should look into it. 
Democrats on one hand are preaching and crying so hypocritical and talking about women's rights. They care about the women's body when it comes to abortion. They want you to abort your kid. That's all they care, that you have the right to have an abortion. And like I said in previous video before, they support kids not being killed elsewhere. That is not the United States. They all about pro-life when it's not the United States. They all about pro-life when it's not about you killing your unborn child. They fight tooth and nail that you should have the right to kill your unborn child. But how in the heck you fighting for that? But then when there's a bill put in the house to protect women against violence by illegal aliens who are raping, killing women and children and trafficking, you guys oppose that. Make it make sense. Women having the option to kill their unborn child, but you are in favor of women getting raped, assaulted, trafficked by illegal aliens. So women, abort your child. Women, you deserve to be raped, assaulted by illegal aliens, and we will not do anything about it. We will not support a bill that will deport those people, that will arrest those people, that will face criminal charges and everything that should be faced just by crossing the border illegally. But now, you can cross illegally, you can do whatever you want to a woman and children, and these 158 Democrats are in favor of you doing whatever you want to do and not get punished. Make it make sense again. And you guys continue with your blinders voting for these Democrats to represent you. You guys continue voting for these people who say they have their best, your best interest in their side. How is that your best interest? They want you to abort your kid, your unborn child, but they also don't want you to be safe, abort your kids, get raped, sexually assaulted, trafficked, anything that can happen to you, and we will not support a bill that will punish those people who do such heinous acts, but we will support a bill for you to have an abortion and lose your unborn child. You people need to wake up. This blue, these Democrat people, most of them, they don't care about your safety. They don't care about you. They just want to push the rhetoric. I bet you whatever I have that is a Republican word, the one saying that women should have the right to an abortion. The Democrats will be going like, no, they will be fighting tooth and nail for you to not have the right to have an abortion. They will do anything to control their plantation, to keep their plantation alive, when in fact they don't care about anything. They don't care about your safety, your safety, your well-being, your future, your generation. They don't care about nothing. All they care about is power and controlling your mind. So just remember, this bill, thank God, it just passed the House 266 to 158. Again, the 158 people that opposed the bill are all Democrats. Democrats don't want you to be safe. They support illegal aliens committing heinous acts and assaulting and raping and trafficking our women and children. Remember that, those 158 Democrats. This bill passed the House. Now it's going to go to the Senate, which is Democratic-controlled Senate. So it's not guaranteed that it's going to be passed there. And based on how it went on the House, hopefully some of these Democrats love your safety and think about your safety. But I don't think this bill will pass because these Democrats, like I said, they don't care that you are safe. They just care about you having abortion and protecting illegal aliens. Not protecting legal aliens, not protecting people who are here legally, not protecting U.S. citizens, not protecting natural born Americans, but protecting illegal immigrants who cross the border and murder our kids, rape our women, steal jobs, and are doing all this violence in America. Those Democrats are in favor of protecting those illegal immigrants. Not you, who live here legally, who was born here, who pay taxes here, who dedicate their life to America. No, 
Your rights don't matter to these Democrats. Your rights are useless. You are no one. They only care about the illegal immigrants and protecting those people. So next time you go vote, remember who voted for you to be able to have an abortion, but also for you to be able to get raped, assaulted, trafficked, and nothing happens. The Democrats just want to keep you in their plantation. Wake up. That's it for me today. I'll see you in the next one.